Another quick Valheim guide on where to get the best weapons in the game. This video is going to show you how to get the Iron Sledgehammer. Last video I had tons of questions asking where to get it. And it's probably a bit of a secret since you need some rather hidden ingredients to actually unlock the crafting recipe but I'll show you how to get them in this video. But just so you know, the Iron Sledgehammer is the best sledgehammer in the game, unleashing a devastating area of effect and knockback with the force of 10,000 suns. With enough blunt skill, you can easily use it to obliterate packs of skeletons or slimes in one single hit. I always carry it around as an offhand weapon for groups of enemies so I can deal with them quickly. So now let me show you how to craft it and in return all I ask is that you smash that like button with the force of a thousand suns. So to craft the iron sledgehammer you need 10 ancient bark, 30 iron, 1 draga elite trophy and 4 ymir's flesh. Now you may be wondering what on earth is ymir's flesh and how do I get it? Well, you can only buy it from the secret merchant that will be placed randomly in your game. So how do you find this merchant, you ask? Firstly, you're going to want to unlock boat crafting by making bronze nails or iron nails at the forge. I've got a guide that covers this in the description below. But making a boat will allow you to travel the ocean much faster. So from the starting spawn point of the map to actually find the merchant location, because everyone's map is procedurally generated, you're basically going to want to draw a large circle around the center of the map, around like this sort of size. And then if you go ahead and zoom in and you start to sail and explore all of these different islands, you'll eventually come across this money bag icon, which is a location of the merchant. Now, this location, you don't need to walk right up to it to discover it. It will actually just appear when you're in like a really big radius to the merchant's island. So as long as you're sort of like roaming around the map on your boat and then exploring the seas and different islands, you'll eventually come across this merchant icon and then you'll know that's where the merchant is as you're sailing around. The one thing you know for sure is that the merchant has a 100% chance of spawning on a black forest bio. So if you're sailing around an island that has a plains area, it's probably best to leave and find one that has a black forest area since, since it's much more likely to have the merchant on. So once you do arrive on the island, you're going to want to run over to the merchant. And it really doesn't matter if you are low level or not because the merchant actually has a ward surrounding them, which means they can't take any damage. So this is the merchant right here. I also highly recommend you actually build a portal at the location so you can easily come back and forth here and speak to him and trade with him. As you can see, I currently have 1000 gold. Gold is very heavy, as you can see. You'll actually buy rubies, silver necklaces and items like that from you so you can sell them to make more gold. And obviously they have a much lighter weight than coins. So if you talk to the merchant, you'll see he has a list of items that you can actually buy. What we need is Ymir's flesh, the earthly remains of the giant Ymir. And these cost 120 gold each and we need four of them. So let's go ahead and buy one two, three, four. Now, for some reason, the game would only let me have one in my inventory at once. So I basically had to buy it, throw it on the ground and then buy it again. And then just come and pick them up once I was done. Now, there are two biomes where you can actually find Draga. Firstly, you have the swamp biome that looks like this, this kind of muddy patch on the map, which you usually have to sail to away from your main island. And once you're in the swamp, the easiest way to find Draga elites is either going into the crypts or you'll find these sort of areas where there's lots of rune stones around sort of a central island. These areas have Draga spawn points on, as you can see. Now, the thing about these is, is they'll repeatedly spawn Draga until you destroy the actual pile spawn point that they're spawning from. So what I recommend doing is running over and destroying the evil bone piles, but leaving the Draga bone piles alive. So they just carry on spawning and you can carry on killing them. So you want to leave these body piles alive. There's two on this one island that obviously I can just, you know, stand here and wait until they carry on spawning until a Draga Elite spawns, and then I can farm him for the trophy that I need. So here's an Elite who's just spawned. I'm going to parry his attack to snagger him. Then we're just going to go ham with my Iron Mace, and hopefully 
he will drop the trophy. But he's not actually dropped it this time, so we're just going to have to carry on killing everything. I've accidentally destroyed one of the, the body piles, but not to worry, there's still one here. And it makes my life a little bit easier not having to deal with, like, several of them at once spawning. Oh, wait, look. He did drop a Draga trophy. So this is what we're looking for. Now, another thing you can do is actually go into sneak mode and use a bow to take out the Draga. By the way, if you want my bow, I'll link how to get it down below in the description for you guys. But they'll just carry on spawning and you can carry on shooting them, but with sneak attacks, which makes them a lot easier to actually kill. You will, however, need to be close enough so that they do spawn in the first place. So you can see one of them has just spawned in front of me. So I can go ahead and sneak attack this guy. Does 200 damage, so I instantly kill him. And you can just sit here and obviously farm them. And if they do come close to you, if you position like some water between yourself and them, then obviously you make your life a lot easier to actually be farming them. 250 damage on that Draga Elite. And now I can go and check if he's actually dropped a Draga Head Trophy. The next thing we need to grab is Ancient Wood, which is also located in abundance here in the swamp biome. You just need to find all these ancient trees, like the small little scrappy ones, and then you can actually chop them down using an axe. And then if you harvest these, they will drop 10 wood each, and some of that wood will be Ancient Wood. As you can see, Ancient Bark which looks like this, an ancient and sturdy material. And the final ingredient we need is 30 iron bars. I've already made a full video on how to farm iron really easily here in the Swampland, and also how to get iron in the first place if you didn't already know. I'll link that video down below. So now we have all our ingredients, we need to come to the forge. The first thing you'll notice is that it requires a level two station level to actually craft. So in order to actually upgrade our station level, we need to come to crafting and we need to click on, for example, the forge cooler. As you can see at the bottom, it tells you the forge cooler is a forge improvement item. So if I build this next to my forge within a certain distance, it will actually then improve the level of the forge. And I've got a bunch of items surrounding it like the anvil and the forge tool rack and so on. And that's why my forge is level four, so I can upgrade items as well. After you've done that, you'll now be able to craft the iron sled with 10 ancient bark, 30 iron, 4 Ymir's flesh, and 1 Draga Elite trophy. So let's go ahead and craft it. The next thing you can do is actually upgrade the damage of the iron sledge. The more damage it does, the more AoE damage it does. So it's highly recommended to actually do this. Upgrade the Iron Sledge all the way to level 4. But as you guys can see, once you do so, it's going to have a blunt damage of 73, which is also in an area of effect as well. Versus the completely unupgraded version, which has a blunt damage of 55. Now the completely unupgraded version is still extremely powerful. However, I will say the fully upgraded version kind of gives the weapon more longevity. So once you reach the planes, it's still the best AoE weapon you have access to. And it still makes it very useful. But it requires a ton of materials to upgrade. There's a ton of other awesome weapons you guys can find in Valheim. I've actually got a playlist that I'm constantly adding to with new weapons that are coming out for the game. So make sure you check out that playlist link down below in the description. And of course, drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Or if you're confused about anything and want to see a specific video, just leave a comment below asking for it because I'll probably get to it at some point in the future. Or someone super helpful can answer your question in the comment section. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.